So here we have the Peugeot 308 on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Uh, from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. You can increase this space even further should you wish to do that uh, by folding down the 60-40 split folding rear seats you see there. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's a great looking car the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the far left-hand side, first of all, we have the fuel gauge. We then have the speedometer. Over on the right-hand side, the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge. And in the center, the main trip computer, which includes a digital readout for the speedometer and, of course, the total miles for this car as well, which are 49,222. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo and phone controls available on here. And then in the center, is where, amongst other things, you'd pair up your phone in order that you can use it. Now, we're on the climate control menu at the moment, so you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, both up and down, of course. Uh, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. You can increase and decrease the fan speed as well. That button will turn your air conditioning on, and it's on now. Same button will turn it off again, or you can hit auto. The car will take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. Any manual adjustment will override that straight away and allow you to put it back on your own settings. We have various bits of trip computer and car information available here. Our audio menu below that, there are, there's plenty of ways to listen to music in this car. Uh, so you see the radio, of course, FM, DAB and AM. We've also got USB input, iPod input, Bluetooth audio so we can stream our music wirelessly and auxiliary input as well. Uh, below that, we then have the satellite navigation. Really nice, clear color display. Very, very easy system to use. And you can pair your phone down in that bottom right-hand corner. On top of all of that, this car also has a full color parking camera uh, to work alongside the parking sensors. Working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo deadlocks. So you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. Uh, we can heat the rear windscreen. The front windscreen uh, isn't heated, but you can hear on pushing that, the air conditioning instantly diverts to the front screen, uh, turned up to full automatically. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up in here or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperatures you've set on that main unit where I showed you a moment ago. We have a 12 volt charging socket, USB and auxiliary inputs, a six speed manual gearbox with an electronic handbrake, and you can put the car into sport mode should you wish to. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.